All right, hello, peeps. Uh, so, as you know, I created the Carillon Project uh, at thecarillonproject.com, where you can submit your Carillon works to be played at any of the participating Carillons. And we actually did have a conference, a Carillon conference, uh, yesterday and today, where I talked to people outside of the state of Texas, where I live, and they said they would welcome your submissions. So, in this video, I'm just going to show you the buildings, so the exterior, of each participating carillon. And there are four of them. This is the tower at the University of Texas at Austin. I am a student there, and I'm also, uh, I mean, as you probably might expect, a carillonor. I believe it might be the tallest carillon in the United States. Um, I don't know that for sure, but... I do have a suspicion that it is. I know it's not the tallest in the in North America, since there is a taller one in Mexico City. And outside you have a turtle pond. There's usually a lot of students who sort of gather here and they like to listen to the music while watching the the turtles. And here's the the main view of the tower from the the south. All right, the next Carillon's gonna be in Minnesota, Rochester, Minnesota, in the Mayo Clinic. So it's in the Plummer Building, which is part of the hospital campus. So there it is, um, up there. Austin Ferguson is the Carillonor, and he used to actually play at the University of Texas at Austin. Um, and that's why he came for the conference where I talked to him. And he's the, he's the full-time, full-time Carolinor. In this particular area, as you can see, there are some people, pedestrians, who are going to walk around. So there's going to be a little bit of an audience. It's also worth noting that this is the only hospital Carolinor in the world, in the sense that it's part of the hospital campus. There's another hospital-owned Carillon in Germany, but it's not actually situated physically in the hospital campus. All right, the next one's gonna be in another Rochester, this time Rochester, New York. So Rochester, you know, it's right next to the lake, and the university here is right next to the river. The actual Carillon is in the library. Yeah. So that's the building, and you have the bells at the top here. And the current teacher of the guild at UT... Alex Johnson, who also won the most recent uh, Queen Fabiola Carillon contest, which is the international Carillon contest, went here for undergrad. There are students who are still active, and some of them did come over to Texas because they knew Alex. And the final Carillon, at least as of now, in the Carillon Project, is located near Philadelphia, in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, and it's at Bryn Mawr Presbyterian Church. And currently we just have um, two people playing there, Wade Fitzgerald and Catherine Clark. It's right across the street from a college library, and that's gonna be the Carillon Tower, and I know it looks sort of, sort of random, like it's this little road here, and you're not likely going to have a bunch of pedestrians, but since it is a church, you do get, um, churchgoers. That's it for now, and if you have a question, just leave a comment, and I will read that. Have a good day.